picking up where we left off. We're going to prove that every non-constant polynomial has a root. If we assume not, that means that 1 over p of z is entire. So this integral, if you integrate around a circle of radius r, you get 1 over p of z, which is going to be entire. It's holomorphic everywhere over z minus 0, which by the Cauchy integral formula is just going to be 2 pi i times 1 over p of 0. Great. Uh, if I take limit, it's going to end up not changing things. Uh, but let's just look at this integral in a different way. This integral I can bound by taking the maximum value of the integral uh, times the length of the arc. The length of the arc is just 2 pi i, 2 pi r, sorry. And I was able to bound this by, uh, by 2 over r to the d plus 1 times the modulus, that should say the modulus of a sub d where that's just the coefficient of the dth term, of the biggest degree term. So if I just calculate this, I get that this is equal to 4 pi r to the d plus 1 times r, they're, they're going to cancel and get r to the d to the denominator, times this constant complex number, which was a coefficient. In particular, this number is going to go to 0 as r goes to infinity. So, in other words, um, this integral, the limit of, as r goes to infinity, of c of r, circle of radius r, 1 over z, p of z, uh, dz, if I take the modulus of it, that's less than or equal to uh, the limit as r goes to infinity, of, of, what do I get? 4 pi over r to the d times a constant, just that coefficient, which equals 0. But this limit of this modulus is also equal to the modulus of this. So 2 pi i times 1 over p of 0 equals this. In other words, let me just erase some of this here. Here. Oh. Seriously, I'm going to erase it this time. In other words, what we just said, so 2 pi i times 1 over p of 0 uh, is equal to the limit as r goes to infinity of this integral. dz, and we'll take the modulus of the integral, uh, which we showed equals 0. Because it, so what do I have? I have the modulus of 2 pi i times 1 over p0 equals 0, which implies that 1 over p0 is equal to 0, which implies that 1 is equal to 0 times the modulus of p of 0, which is a real number, which equals 0. Now, 1 cannot be equal to 0. It does equal 0 factorial, so I shouldn't write that. Um, but 1 is not equal to 0, so this is a contradiction. If you ever get 1 equals 0, that means you made a bad assumption. What assumption do we make? Uh, everything here is pretty solid. Oh, we used Cauchy's integral formula. We used uh, an estimation. Uh, we used the fact that's entire. That seems reasonable. Ah, the only place where we made any sort of assumptions was we supposed uh, that, that p of z was not equal to 0 anywhere. So this assumption must be wrong. That means it must be that p of z equals 0 someplace, which means it has a root. And we're done.